Hi friends, let us do a nice problem. In an arithmetic progression, sum of first m terms by sum of first n terms is m square by n square. So, so then m to n by n terms should be 2m minus 1 by 2n minus 1. This is what we have to prove. Let's see how. Right. m square by n square in arithmetic progression, sum of m terms and n terms. Right. When we look at this, it should immediately occur to us that this series is something like odd numbers. Right. We know odd numbers. Right. 1, 3, 5, 7. The sum of the series is first one is 1. Second is 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 is 16. Sum of odd numbers. This series runs in squares. Right. See 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. The sum of odd numbers, they go like this. Right. We know this result. And when we are given n square by n square, n square, sum of, sum of series of arithmetic progression is n square, this should immediately occur to us. Right. And in fact, the question itself is this. We are asked to prove that n term by n term is the is kind of odd numbers. Right. 2n minus 1 is always odd, 2n minus 1 is always odd. Right. Let's see how we can mathematically prove this. We know sum of m terms, sum of n terms, n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into b. Sum of m terms is m by 2 into 2a plus m minus 1 into d. Let's see m, sum of m terms by sum of n terms. This both, these two will cancel. So we can write m into 2a plus m minus 1 into d by n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to m square by n, n square, which is already given. Now we can cancel m from both sides and n also from both sides. And to cross multiplication, we will get n into 2a plus m minus 1 into d is equal to m into this m into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Let us just expand. This becomes 2an plus m n d n m d minus n into d minus n into d. Similarly, a m plus m n d minus m into d. Right? Now, m n d m n d will get cancelled on both sides. Right? Then what will be left with on left side n into 2a minus d. Similarly, m into 2a minus d. Getting both of the sides on the same side, we will get 2a minus d into n minus m is equal to 0. This is an important equation here. Right? 2a minus d into n minus m is equal to 0. Why it is important is, we know that n is not equal to n. Right? If n is m, there is nothing to prove. Right? n is m, there is nothing to prove. So, n is definitely not equal to m. Then what does this mean? To make this equation true, it becomes 2a minus d itself should be equal to 0. That means 2a is equal to d. Right. Let's substitute this for 2a equals to d. What is nth term? a plus m minus 1 into d. What is nth term? a plus n minus 1 into d. So we want to say what is nth term by n, n term. m term by nth term is equal to a plus m minus 1 into d by a plus n minus 1 into d. Let's substitute 2a in, term in place of this d. a plus n minus 1 into 2a plus by a plus n minus 1 into 2a. Right. We can open this and then all a's will cancel. Right. In the numerator also a's are there. Denominator also a's are there. All a's will cancel. And we will be left with 2m minus 1 by 2n minus 1. Right. A's we can take common and cancel that will be left at 2m minus 1 by 2n minus 1. This is what we wanted to prove and this also says the numbers are in this form. Right. Hope you like this. This is such a simple problem. This is a nice result. We should always remember sum of odd numbers. Sum of odd numbers will give us perfect space from the beginning. If we take all the numbers from the beginning, their sum will give us perfect space. Thank you guys.